Hello and welcome to the Chrisoft video tutorial for bevel and hyperweight gears. In the next 15 minutes I will show you about geometry calculation of bevel and hyperweight gears, then strength calculation, then design functionalities of Chrisoft, fine and rough sizing functionalities, the contact analysis and then also processes means 3D models and 5-axis milling for bevel gears. I will start with bevel and hyperweight geometry. First of all I would like to show you there are many examples of bevel and hyperweight gears in Kisoft available. These have many types of bevel gears inside, so we can have a look at the Klingenberg bevel gears. Then we also have Gleason face milling bevel gears in Kisoft. And last but not least, we also have straight bevel gears as they are typically used for differential bevel gears. Also these types they can be calculated with Chrisoft. First of all in the geometry the designer defines about the type of bevel gear. It means is it an a standard type which is used for straight bevel gears? Is it a Gleason type? or a Klingelberg type and these, these different bevel gear types they can be selected in this, in this uh, list. Also if there is an existing if there is an existing um, bevel gear design from Gleason and a Gleason dimension sheet is available it's very comfortable to add the bevel gear design, the existing design by the conversion functionalities. These data they are typically given in a Gleason dimension sheet of a face milling um, bevel gear set and it makes it very easy to enter this data and then to transform it into the um, KISSOFT calculation. Other typically the typical data for geometry calculation they are given here in the geometry window. As you can see it's spiral angle but also addendum and dedendum angle of the bevel gear. Then also two thickness modification coefficient and offset. Uh, these geometrical data they can be given in basic data. Also for bevel gear manufacturing data are imported. It means the size of cutter head. And here we can see it's a current. This current design is a Gleason face milling design. And so in the list information in the information graph we can see the typically available cutter head sizes as they are given in the ISO 23509. The same happens actually if it is a Klingelberg design. The Klingelberg design is per default its face hobbing is active and in the information graph there are typical available cutter heads from Klingelberg. They are listed and it makes it easy to get a uh, cutter head which is suitable to get it very quickly. So we can define also manually the cutter radius and number of blade groups um, if this is maybe a um, special cutter head design. In the tab 
reference profile data, the coefficients are given for root um, dedendum and ad addendum coefficients as they are defined in the ISO standard as well. Tolerances are important. Tolerances are about uh, tooth sickness and backlash. However, for the bevel gear, it's very common to have no backlash um, actually defined as the gear uh, and actually not defined in the manufacturing profile shift system. Typically, backlash is defined by either the two sickness modification coefficients or only in the assembling it means the ring gear is just retracted a little bit by the amount of required backlash. So these are the calculation for geometry. I will continue now with ratings. In the tab ratings, there are many standards available for strength rating, starting with two static calculation as typically differential bevel gears, they are applied in a static mode. But then also the ISO calculations are available in KISSOFT, HGMA, DIN, Klingelberg, Then that Norske Veritas for marine transmissions and hyperweed gear calculations. Beside root and flank strength calculation, also scuffing can be calculated according to the ISO TR or the DIN standard. Also tooth flank fracture is a very actual topic. Also there in KISSOFT there are several methods are available which can be taken for tooth flank fracture rating. Also in KISSOFT it's possible to apply a load spectra. This can be done either by a predefined load spectra or by an own input if you want to add own values which you just want to define within that calculation. In the tab factors, there are special factors um, given or uh, available for modification. Typically, the mounting factor is one of a typically modified uh, factor as it defines the KH beta defined then on the type of assembly or the type of testing. In the bevel gear design, there are two functionalities from KISSOFT provided. It's the rough sizing and it's the fine sizing. Rough sizing gives a first initial design based on some data which are given by specifications. So the user enters a ratio. It, he enters the face width to mean normal module ratio and the ratio of outer cone distance to face width and the spiral angle. And then he will get a proposal from the software, which is actually, actually reasonable. He can overtake it and he gets a very first uh, and a very quick uh, first design. The fine sizing of bevel gear actually is a variation of design parameters. So let's have an example. Let's, let's keep the outer pitch diameter of the ring gear as constant, but let's see for other solutions having a different spiral angle maybe starting from 20 to 40 degrees 
with a step width of uh, two degrees and let's vary also the number of t's for the pinion between 11 and 24 calculating all these variants it will give a number of solutions maybe a big number of solutions which will show then to the designer which is the best or the optimized macro geometry for his design in that case in very short time 822 solutions are found the results can be checked either by a list or graphically and the parameters the parameters for evaluation typically are for a x-axis or strengths or actually any design criteria and typically for the color scale it's a design parameter in that case it's mean normal module but it could also be number of t's for pinion just to find out which number of t's here higher number or actually these are the lower number to find some tendencies in the design for best flank safety or for best root safety this is the fine sizing functionality from KISSOFT helping to get best designs I will continue now to contact analysis contact analysis actually uh, will give a rating of the applied modifications as you may know bevel gears typically have a lengthwise crowning in, in order to avoid the edge contacts on the load so also in contact analysis it has to be determined about the misalignment V, H and G, uh, J as we're in Gleason terminology it's called E, P and G in this case I just have the value 0 and I will do a contact analysis of this design so let me maybe take an initial design from a sample as I was taking some values maybe different than the sample will do so and now I can check the results of contact analysis typically this is the contact pattern on the ring gear I can see the distribution of the contact it looks quite nice as it is now then I can also check about transmission error transmission error is an indication for noise I can also check about scoffing results I can check about stress curve in 3D so these are these are evaluations which help the designer to get the best possible crowning on the tooth flank to have a good balance between an insensitivity of the contact but also an optimi optimized final design now I will continue with 3D models and processes for manufacturing typically Gleason and Klingenberg machine equipment is used for a mid size of batch or a big big size of batches so for high volumes definitely these machines they are typically applied for small batches or maybe spare parts manufacturing five axis milling is established as well as it is much more flexible in order to have 3d models for five axis milling KISSOFT will provide the 3D models uh, 
and these can be saved and individually for pinion and for ring gear and this can be used and finally for the cam software also for quality for quality checks the measurement grid data can be calculated so the measure, measurement machine it can be chosen between Klingelberg and Gleason format and when the measurement grid is calculated and saved it can be used then for any of these machines and with that data the measurement of the 3D uh, models that are manufactured on 5-axis milling machines can be done. This was about bevel and hyperweed gear calculation in KISSOFT. If you have any questions about any more details in bevel and hyperweed gear design, please don't hesitate to come back to KISSOFT and ask for detailed instructions or any more tutorials. Thank you for your attention.